Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Infinite Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the NV4 Assault Rifle, which if I had to describe as briefly as possible, I would call an M4A1 in space. Unlike Advanced Warfare In Depth, I'm going to try to cover all of the variants in the main episode, unless of course they're very special and warrant their own episode. And this is a good one to start off with because the NV4 variants have a lot of secret buffs and nerfs that aren't really inherently visible in-game when you select them. First things first, let's talk about damage. It deals 30 damage up close and decreases down to 23 at a distance, meaning that it will always kill in either 4 or 5 shots, depending on how far away you are from the enemy. This makes it a very consistent feeling assault rifle and is one of the primary reasons that it is probably the most used assault rifle online. However, the legendary NV4 Flatline will deal a flat 30 damage at all ranges, hence the name. Its damage profile is a flatline, meaning that it is always a 4 shot kill, and while this is by far the most popular and one of the most sought after variants in the game. It has a secret which makes it not so great to use in a lot of situations, which we'll be talking about in just a minute, but let's talk about headshot damage first. Headshots will deal 1.1x damage or 10% bonus damage, which makes them useful only at long range. You're not going to kill anybody any faster by shooting them up close in the head, and even at long range you're only going to get one less shot to kill, with the exception of course for the flat line, that one doesn't matter. The four shot kill range is 40 meters, which is the best in the assault rifle class, excluding the Type 2. The Type 2 is a very special weapon. Being a dual weapon, it's got slightly different properties, but all of the standard assault rifles, this one has by far the best range. So most of the time, you're going to be killing people in four shots. Again, that's why the weapon is so consistent and one of the reasons that people like it. One of the crazy things about this weapon is that most of the variants have different rates of fire. This isn't really reflected on the in-game stats. It isn't told and it's not obvious, but it was done for balance reasons. So the base variant and the fallout variant, which I'm using here for most of the gameplay, will fire at 612 rounds per minute, and these are the coded rates of fire. In-game will vary a little bit due to frame rounding. The vigilance variant, oddly enough, fires faster at 759 rounds per minute, even though it's not that rare. And the flatline variant fires the slowest at 571 rounds per minute, and this was probably done for a balancing reason, making sure that you can't nuke people across the map at the same rate of fire of the other weapons, but the Vigilance one kind of surprises me. I don't know why it fires faster than the others, and I also don't know why it's not reflected in the in-game stats, but it is, and in my opinion, that's going to make it the best variant to go after. On the NV4, the time to kill is overall slow due to a lower than average rate of fire and its inability to three-shot kill no matter what. This is not a fast killing weapon. This is a weapon where you will lose quite a few one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Uh, people will just, they'll hose you down with SMGs and against assault rifles one-on-one, -on -one, most of them will beat the NV4. However, the NV4 is remarkably consistent, having almost the same time to kill at all ranges, and it has amazingly low recoil. Foregrip really isn't needed at all. Now, we discussed the foregrip in that its own episode, and it's a little bit funny, but the NV4 doesn't really need any recoil-altering properties. It has relatively no kick. It returns to center quickly. It's pretty even spread on either side. It doesn't drift very far, and it's very, very easy to spray with. This is probably the second reason that it's most popular online is that with that high degree of accuracy and the consistency of the time to kill it is a very consistent feeling weapon so it won't take very long for you to play with to get a sense of mastery over it. The NV4 iron sights leave much to be desired but they are entirely usable for medium range. Maybe medium range isn't the best range for this weapon. I tend to kind of poke people with it at long ranges but you can use them. They're not horrible. They're not too blocky but optics are definitely going to be the way to go on the NV4. Of note, the NV4 has a slightly faster than average aim down sights time of 250 milliseconds. A lot of the other assault rifles are 300 milliseconds, so you can snap aim and react a little bit faster than average with this one. That is much, much faster with Quick Draw. While I haven't done the episode or the full testing yet, Quick Draw is remarkably effective on the assault rifles in this game, almost all the weapons actually, and you can snap aim people very, very quickly, which is why I'm going to be recommending that attachment later on. And mathematically speaking, it has better hipfire spread than the other assault rifles other
other than perhaps the Type 2, but it still feels very bad because of the slow time to kill. And it's not crazy better hipfire spread, it's not ridiculous or amazing, it's just slightly tighter hipfire spread, but it, due to the slow rate of fire and the time to kill, hip firing with this weapon wasn't very great in my experience. I tried to make like a hip fire only class, and I just kind of had a miserable time with it, so I really wouldn't recommend that to anyone. So, when it comes to my overall opinion on the NV4, it is the easiest assault rifle to use, and absolutely one of the best for a suppressor. The suppressor doesn't hurt it too badly, and at worst, you need one more shot to kill. If you're running the flat line, you can put a suppressor on, and it's a pure bonus attachment. It doesn't affect your range or shots to kill at all. So this is a great weapon to use in conjunction with Ghost, or almost any sort of stealth class that you want to use. Uh, that is the recommended way to go. I see a lot of people running it loud and proud with rifled barrel to extend their range for reasons I don't entirely understand, but suppressor is going to be the way to go on almost any NV4 class you want to make, and the way I would recommend running it is with optics of choice, just whatever optics you like. Personally, I would go with Red Dot or Elo, suppressor so that you stay off the radar and because it doesn't really hurt the gun very much, and quick draw because it snap aims excellently. Guys, that's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.